yes hello welcome to Doreen's African experiences so basically today we're going to talk about timber how to buy timber what to consider when you're buying timber for roofing and I hope this is enough information for you to do your buying or your purchases of timber with so much is so basically when someone is roofing there is about four types four types of timber so we have six by two and then we have four by three and then we have four by two and then we have three by two all these things cost differently depending on where you're buying them from now in this particular area these are guidelines let's say if you're buying timber different types of timber so we have um, so we have this is three by two sorry six by two now six by two is supposed to be thick as you can see really thick and when you're buying six by two try to make sure that it has no cracks at the end or the bottom there shouldn't be any cracks that's how you know you're buying a good six by two so six by two is very thick and this is how wide it looks very thick and very wide so that is six by two now some places can sell it at eight thousand and some places can sell it up to ten thousand the shortest six by two is ten feet okay 10 feet long 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 okay some people have 13 feet some have it depends but yeah the shortest should be 10 feet 10 foot 10 feet <laughs> you get the irony right ah. <laughs> And then, and then, oh, and then, oh, 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 this is Eric. Eric works with their mom here. Anyway, so basically, this is four by three. So four by three is huge. It's like as if they cut between uh, six by two into two. As you can see, it's thick. Yeah, it should be thick like this. Like I said, when you're buying timber for roofing make sure it has no cracks huge cracks at the beginning or the end i know some people will tell you it's okay but remember they have to cut off the parts that are cracked and you do not want parts that are cracked to be cut off when they cut them off that means your timber becomes shorter and when your timber becomes shorter that's a big problem for you because you have to buy more every single piece counts everything counts so six by two costs around the same amount of money like six like four by three depending she sells them at eight thousand and some people sell to you like i said every place has their own price but you have to know a beginning point of something the beginning point of these is eight thousand that is six by two and four by three beginning point of price is three rather eight thousand okay <laughs> see check it out uh, uh, <laughs> They are young but very strong, surprisingly stronger than me, which is insane. They shouldn't be stronger than me. And then this is 4x2. So the famous 4x2. 4x2. Now, 4x2 
like too is subjective. Some people will sell it at six thousand, six five hundred. It depends. And some people will sell it straight up, eight thousand. So these things are very dependent. It depends on where you're buying from. Okay. So at six thousand five hundred each. Now, if you're doing a ceiling that's for concrete, like a concrete mix ceiling, these are the best ones to put in the ceiling. They're much, much better than the three by twos. When you're plunging in the nets, these are stronger. They hold together. Now, you'll see three by two, and I'm going to explain to you something I discovered that I didn't know. Now, this is how um four by two looks like i think i bought over 400 of these it was insane <laughs> yeah you see these these ones they go along with the six by twos now three by twos are not so much used on the house they use very few of them and the six by twos as well but four by two and then three by two that that moves a lot so this is one of the best things that people use or what moves really okay okay this is three by two. I know it looks like a six by two, but what they do in the shops when they're selling them, they cut half, they cut it in between and they don't divide it. So three by two, when you're buying them, half the time, yeah, they're like this, like this. But you have to make sure that the person selling to you didn't leave a huge gap behind. I was told this by the builders or the roofers. They told me when they are cutting a six by two. Oh, you see, they shouldn't leave this gap too much. It shouldn't be too big. They should leave very little space because these people are not going to slide it. They cut it. They cut off the lower part, so you have to make sure you cut it longer. No short. Okay, so basically, the price for three by two is four thousand. That's the price. Some people will sell to you at four five. Others five thousand. Basically. It depends, but 4,000 at most, 4,500 should be the maximum amount of money, and it goes a long way. Yeah, this is the lady, the owner of the business. She attended to me so well throughout the whole process. She attended to me, she really was supportive. She woke up so early for my needs and she met all my needs <laughs> she met all my needs i liked her i enjoyed her services and her business is in kalaji mukono so if you're constructing around nearby i will attach her contact onto this part of the screen and you will definitely hit her up and she does have good prices she has trees too eucalyptus trees stamps she has everything she's your plug for roofing i really like her services we have to learn to support each other we have to learn to support african people black people we have to stand together don't just talk about people's businesses show them off show them out there and enable people to be known spread the word these people have good services prices are good you know accessible everything she's right in the city in the heart of Kalaji city so basically i believe you will like her services if you come across her business and she has what she like she's a good lady she's a family lady too she's a mother um africans we have to support each other we have to stand together all these people's businesses you see them 
spread the word support them don't just come to borrow from them you shouldn't borrow from each other you shouldn't and if you do borrow please pay back these people's businesses stand because they put up a lot of effort they put in money they put in time you know so don't don't take their businesses for granted don't take advantage of them okay um well that was me thanks for watching and i'll plug her number in and i hope you enjoy as much as i enjoyed her services you know she she was with me throughout construction from the start all the wood for the ring beams the lower ring beams for the balcony she was my plug and i didn't regret a single thing i the prices are friendly she's got the best customer care in the business and i promise you you will not regret anything from this lady i'll tag her number on i'll put it in the in the description below and i hope you come by and support her that was my yes. time bye I don't know what